what you guys are thinking. She just did this prank on you. How is she not gonna know? It's obvious that it's gonna be a prank because she just did it on you. Guys, I know. However, I have a really, really good idea and I really think it's gonna work. But before I get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, comment down below, Team Isaiah all day, every day, and we're just gonna get right into it. You guys already know what to do. Hit that like button, do all the extra stuff you guys already know what to do. Okay guys, so when I got my sleeve done a couple of weeks ago, this is my tattoo appointment sheet that I signed and everything right here. It has my signature right here, along with my tattoo artist signature right there, shout out to Ben. But this is basically my tattoo appointment sheet. Janice doesn't know that I kept this, nor has she ever seen it. And I'm covering all this information right here because has like my name my address and like my phone number and all that good stuff i don't need you guys harassing me so my plan is to basically put on the tattoo which i'm actually going to show you what it is and where i'm going to put it and all that good stuff however when i reveal it to janice tomorrow because i gotta let the tattoo cure i'm gonna tell her babe i know you probably think this is a prank but you know what when you did that prank on me it actually sparked an idea in my head and i'm like yo maybe i really do want to get her name tatted on me so i went ahead and did and to make her believe it i'm gonna show her the tattoo appointment sheet and i'm gonna be like babe look i'm not lying i have the tattoo appointment appointment sheet here and everything it's signed and all that good stuff while you were out because tomorrow she's actually going to be out running errands doing all that you know girl things so when she gets back home this is when i'm going to reveal the whole thing and i feel like this is a lot of talking but i really got to break it down to you guys so you guys understand now my number one goal is to make sure she believes it so i'm going to try my hardest to make sure i sell the idea that i really got her name tattooed on me so if you guys are ready to see her reaction make sure you guys comment down below team i say all day every day pray for your boy comment down below what you think her reaction is going to be i'm going to put the tattoo on now say you're supposed to clean the area with this primer wipe I'm gonna go ahead and put the tattoo right here I actually think this is actually cool now this is the tattoo itself so like I said obviously I'm putting her name like I said I'm gonna put it right here it should fit perfectly I did the measurements in my head but I'm gonna go ahead put it on show you guys what it looks like as soon as I got it done I really hope I put this on straight because if not it's gonna look stupid and I really have to sell the idea that it's like you know real oh my god I don't want to mess this up okay I think this is good. I think that's pretty solid right there. All right, guys, I'm feeling good about this. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it. I think we're good. It's on there pretty good. So right now it looks green and whatnot, but when it cures, you know, in the morning, it should be like nice and dark and black, like how the rest of the tattoos look. So yeah, I'm gonna let this chill and all that. And then I will catch you guys tomorrow in the afternoon when Janice gets back from running her errands. It should be really easy to hide this because I can literally just put my hand in my pocket and you would never know. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, guys, so fast forward to the next day. Your boy got a good sleep in. I'm feeling really, really good about today's video. As you guys can tell, the tattoo healed up pretty well. It's currently early in the afternoon, and Janice just got home not too long ago. She's downstairs chilling. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a call, tell her to come up that I got something really, really cool, something really meaningful that I wanna show her, and then that's when we're gonna get her reaction to the tattoo. Like I said, guys, I think it came out pretty good. Obviously, it's a little darker than my real tattoos, but the excuse I'm gonna use for that is, you know, it's a fresh tattoo, obviously tattoo, always look really really dark as soon as you get them done but yeah guys i got the paper that i showed you guys yesterday on deck and i'm ready to go ahead about this prank so my acting skills got to come out right now they got to be on point but yeah if you guys are ready to see her reaction comment down below team isaiah all day every day comment down below how you think she's gonna react before she comes up and let's get into it hello baby busy no, why? Can you come upstairs? I got something I want to show you. Something like really, really cool. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm going to set up the camera real quick, get a different angle going, and we're going to get into it. Guys, what the heck is taking her so long? She's literally downstairs. I don't understand. Hey, where are you? I spoke too soon. I'm putting my hand in my pocket. I'm in the bathroom. What are you doing in here? Welcome to my sanctuary. What the hell is going on? Welcome to my office. What is happening? Why so, do you have a camera out? <laughs> so, uh, you know how you were running your little girl errands this morning? Mm hmm So I had made an appointment a couple of days ago, and yeah, I, I got something done today. You got something done? I made an appointment, and the appointment, I'll give you a hint, the appointment was about like 30 minutes long. Um, Go ahead and take a guess as to what I did. You ain't get those nails, Dave. You got a pedicure? No. Hey, what do you mean my nails? My nails aren't even long. I just said you didn't get your nails that you could tell because you could see your cuticles is dry. Excuse me. <laughs> just saying. 
All right, no, no, all right, no. That, that's no. <laughs> okay, so then what? Take a guess. You didn't get a haircut today. No, I don't need a haircut. Are you coming at my hair too? No, I'm just saying. I'm stating the facts. Like, obviously you have fuzz. You didn't get a haircut. All right, well, I have you know this fuzz takes some time to grow. Okay, All right. so then what? Give me one more good guess. What is this such a big deal that you have to have a camera out for? Bro, because I did something and it's for you. It's something meaningful. You okay? had an appointment for me. Yes, I made an appointment to do something for you. Take what? one good guess as to what I did. The, ha the It took about a half hour. The appointment was about a half hour. Did you make me something? No. No pottery, nothing? No, what the hell? You know, because I've been liking the little mugs. I don't know how to make a mug. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just no. guessing. Give me a good guess. That was trash. Come on. You didn't get a tattoo. Maybe I did. For me? Maybe. Stop lying! Nothing else fits on my arm, so don't even look at my arm. <laughs> Where? It's not on my man boobs. <laughs> Where? It's not on my other arm. Where? I know you're not getting no neck tats. I, I, I would get a neck tat low key. No, you wouldn't. I would. I, I'm not, I thought about it. You're trying to be like me so bad. I'm not trying to be like you. Nobody wants to be like you. Um, anyway. <gasps> that no. was rude! You came on my cuticles and my hair, so I mean, I'm fighting fire with fire. You just mad because I got a neck tattoo and you don't. That little freaking little tiny little. It counts. <laughs> you know, that little thing right there. Alright, tell me. Tell me what it is. Okay, close your eyes. Why? Just close your eyes. I'm going to reveal it to you. Close your eyes! You're lying. I'm not lying. Why would I bring all this equipment out, like the camera and stuff? You like got that? a tattoo for me? Yes. Close your eyes. You're li yo. Oh he's lying. God. If you don't shut your eyes. <laughs> okay. Jeez. All right, you're not peeking, right? No. Okay, so on three, you go ahead and open your eyes. Okay. Ready? Uh huh. Three, two, one. You said on three. One, two, three. Open. Nuh uh! Yes, uh huh. <laughs> You're lying! Why am I lying? No, you would never. Why not? It's I did. fake. How is it fake? Because you're just trying to get revenge because of when I did it to you. This See, is fake. No, I knew you would think like that. And no, I don't. And as proof, look, I have the whole appointment sheet right here signed by Ben and everything. Look at his signature right there. Obviously, don't show them because it has my personal information up top. Okay. Look, what's it say there? My name, look at the date, my phone number, my driver's license number, and all that, our address. You paid $200 my... for this little tattoo? <laughs> you gotta say the price, though. Sorry. <laughs> all right, anyway, Ben's signature is right there. Artist signature. Oh, my God. I knew you would think it's fake. Ain't nothing fake, baby. This is real, 100% real, and it's not wrapped or anything with women because my tattoo artist likes to let everything dry heal. I never had any of this wrapped, and she can tell you that. Babe, what? Why would you get it on your hand? My knee on your hand? I told you I always wanted a tattoo right here. I just wanted the sleeve to come down a little more, so I just wanted something right here. So I went ahead and I put your name. Babe! Why is he crying? <laughs> He's crying because it's not his name. <laughs> I don't know what the sound effects like. Oh, I'm like, oh. Oh my god. Right, well, don't, don't, don't touch it. I'm sorry. It's fresh, all right? Babe, seriously? Yes. Oh my god. Now you gotta match me up. What? Come you gotta match me up. Give me a kiss. You're so cute. You gotta match me though. You gotta match my energy. What do you mean I gotta match your energy? You gotta match my energy. I got your name tatted. Come on, now you gotta match mine. Come on. What do you mean, come on? It don't gotta be on your hand. You can get it wherever. You can put it maybe on your, like, your caboose or something like that. No. <laughs> I was thinking like, hold on, turn around. I was thinking maybe like a picket sign right here. Stop. And then on the picket sign it says property of Isaiah and then that's fire. Babe, that's gonna be on you forever. All right, yeah, just don't break up with me. I'm not gonna break up with you. All right then, so we straight. Oh, so we're problem? gonna show our kids and our kids are gonna ask for their names now too. I'm up for my kids the day they're born. I don't care about that. That's fine. I don't have an issue with that. This I was like skeptical about. I'm like, there's a stereo thing, a stereotype thing around it. It's like, you know, you a lot of people say don't do it, a lot of people do do it. But I was like, you know what, man, we locked in, so I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. Yeah. Babe, it's yeah. so cute. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, you got my name tattooed. I, I just don't know when's like the right time to tell you that it's just a prank. <laughs> this is from my sleeve. That's when I got my sleeve done. I just changed everything on the beard. <laughs> it's the same.
same thing you did on me. It's this. <laughs> Yo, I got you. It's ugly anyway. Yo, you're such a liar, bro. You were saying how it's like cute and all that, and you were like so excited, bro. Go, get scram. Yo. No, I knew you was lying. Ow. No, you didn't. At because first, you thought, but then I saw you. All right, I know you did, and that's why I had this little bad boy as evidence. So I got your ass. See my name? No. All right, you can be mad all you want. I got my W. I don't no, know. you have to really get my name tattooed on you now. That yeah, no. How about you do that first, and then I'll match you, or we could go at the same time, and then we'll think about it. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it. Like I said, you could get it right here, and it could say a property of Isaiah. Like, like that's. You fine. could marry me. That is true, and that day is coming. I'm just not gonna tell you one. Don't worry about it. I got it all in my head. It's all figured out. Just. No, I know when we're getting married is when you're gonna propose to me. That's what I'm saying. I got all that figured out already. Hmm. Can you go figure out why my son's crying? <gasps> like he's being a little brat. Infinite fam, this 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 was not a good prank on me. Okay, I did not fall. Son, I got you. What are you talking about? No, I I don't think I I, I don't think you. Skip that. She can never give me credit for anything, bro. Like, I swear, at all. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Your boy did a fantastic job, if I do say so myself. I sold it. I knew this was gonna come in clutch, guys. This paperwork right here with my, like, artist signature. I already showed you guys what it looked like. But yeah, guys, I knew that was gonna come in clutch, and I feel like that was the only chance I had of really, you know, selling it to make it really seem like I got her name tattooed on me. So, yo, shout out to me. But with all that being said, guys, it is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Tina Penuelas. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you guys want to post a notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below, Team Isaiah all day, every day. Vlogmas isn't over. We're still coming with the bangers, the heat, and with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.